So yeah, let's let's summarize this uh, reunion that I had with Sandra and she introduced me with her family. The second I got off the bus, as you heard in the last video, we were chopping it up. We went to her place in Villa Maria. See, right now we are still in Villa Maria. And Villa Maria, in my honest opinion, is still Manizales. It's just, think of that borough that's, you know, you have your Manhattan and then you have the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say this is the Bronx, but it's that barrio that exists outside of the major city. But it's, in my honest opinion, still Manizales, right? So her son is there driving and, you know, we just got out. What do you want to eat? I said, you know what? I'm in the mood to just hang out and chill. And they bring me down to the center square. So we're going to get a bite to eat. But, yo, they're having festivities. So, yeah, let's go run through this episode now. Telefonico hasta allí, ¿sí? Allá. Sí, 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 sí. Recuerdo, recuerdo, recuerdo. Yo, it's popping off tonight. I'm gonna get some to get some snack on though. But yeah man. Post COVID, this will look like. Hey. Otro. No otra tienda. Con chicharrones. Con chicharrones. Ah, perritos. Quieren quieren burritos? Perritos? Porque no como solo. No como solo. But yeah, this was the first time I was meeting her family. Uh, Sandra I already knew, but the family, this was our first encounter. And I did tell them, hey, look, I'm not eating alone. And yeah, as we was walking through, I was just going through memory lane, how I remembered everything. I remember I was here. I was here. Definitely was here. Sí, claro. ¿Recuerdas? Sí, recuerdo. I remember. Porque todo es diferente ahora, no, no más toca recuerda. Por eso. No ahora, recuerdo. Sí. ¿El cable? Sí, el cable. Recuerdo. So yeah, I do remember the times I was here. The last time I was here was some years ago with a local of Manizales, her name being Carol. I will put the card up above so you guys can click that and watch that video of me spending the day with Carol. But other than that, it was a good time hanging out with Sandra and her family. Libro. Books. Ah, oh, biblioteca. Ah, oh, okay. Un concierto esta noche. Sí. Sí. Ah. Okay. People just out here hanging out, y'all. So it's like the 169th year anniversary, and they just. They getting it down now. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. They know how to. They kind of know how to party over here, man. It's kind of lit. The, the fact that this is the safest city is like you're getting a little bit of Medellin up in this piece. You get the party. You get the partiness of Medellin as the safety of the safest city here. But they know how to get in. Oh my. But apparently it's the annual festival that's been going on. So no party that's going to have going on. And there's a lot of, you know, drunk people up there. I'm not eating alone. I'm not eating alone. And I told them that, so I won't eat. Donde? See? Yeah, look 
at this, man. I love Colombian hot dogs because they just put everything on it. You know what I'm saying? They put everything on it. Te gusta? Te gusta? Hey, let's go, sir. Te gusta? Ah, uh, she doesn't want it anymore, but all right. Yo, this is what they, they put everything in it. It's cheese, ham, the hot dog, and something else. I don't know what else is in it. But it's, I put my, my ketchup on top, and they're making me a hamburger right now. Yeah, but I think. Uh, you can't get none, bro. This is all for me. Cool. We work, we work, and with a nice view outside. Hold on. Yes. The next morning, Sandra and her sister fixed me some breakfast. I felt very comfortable, actually, really grateful for the food. Uh, the family dog was nearby trying to get some scraps as usual. And we chopping up on how we're going to spend the day or how things are going to go. Where I'm going to go, because at this point, I'm, I'm gearing up to go to my Airbnb. I'm that type of individual that I don't want to take up too much of your space. So normally, I would like my own space. So uh, we're talking. And we're just talking about locations, what's dangerous. You can see the rock in the background. I've been watching Jumanji. We were having a good time, you know, and uh, the sun was ready. He, Camilo, came and picked me up. And we, we drove out of Villa Maria into Manizales to where my Airbnb is going to go at. Um, where my Airbnb is going to be at. So, as we're driving along, you know, um, I noticed that Manizales got so much hills. I knew this before the last time I was here. But you really see how much heels Manizales got, bro. You'll be driving and driving to the point that even my neck hurt looking at how much hills you have to climb and scale. You get what I'm saying? So, like, I think for exercise enthusiasts or cyclists who want to get their leg strength up, this will be the city for you. I don't know if any other city <laughs> is beating Manizales in terms of hills. So we're arriving at my Airbnb now. You guys going to get to see what it looks like. I met with the host and this is my small little spot that's going to be me for the duration of the trip. But I'm still going to be hanging out with Sandra and her family throughout the duration of my trip. Nevertheless, you get what I'm saying? Hey guys, we, we here. We here. This is what my apartment's going to look like for the next couple of days. Ah, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Look at my spot, y'all. Look at this. All for me. I, I, I really like this a lot. You got a nice view. View of outside in the city. Yeah, man. I like I like small apartments like this, man. I like I like small, keeping it cool apartments. You know what I'm saying? I don't need. I don't really need that much. The bathroom is pretty good. Oscar, muchas gracias para todo. Si, si, si. Yeah. You wanna know you wanna put the, the Wi-Fi? See, see, necessito more Wi-Fi. I need it for both. Was Oscar. Um, I think I'm paying. I forgot, but I think I'm paying fifteen dollars a day for the studio. I got a, got mine on here. The stove. I don't really need much, honestly. Um, <laughs> I wish I had that other apartment that I had for thirty bucks, which was. Which was a whole darn apartment, bro. That thing felt like a condo for 30 bucks. But 15 bucks, I cannot be mad. I, I have my space, I have my table to do my video editing. Um, TV, oops. TV, mic, phone, my microwave. He said that's hot water, it's always on, it's automatic. But if there's an issue, I can hit the switch. Stuff. Oh, sugar, rice, plates. Uh, other goodies. Cool. You said there's hot water. Sink. Soap. Soap. Well, we chilling. We big chilling. I'm gonna link up with my dude downstairs and I'm about to go get a go to the barber because I'm looking woofed out. That's how you know I've been here for a minute. Look look at my face. This is the views from my apartment, but okay, let's go down. We are going down. I need to get a haircut. Chilling. I go chilling. That's my spot for the moment. Now I just need to find a barber. Right now we're going to a barber that he knows. He said it's a good barber, so we'll see. Because the last barber in Cali messed up my bed. There you go. 
So he's telling me that they're doing a competition right now. That's why there's traffic. And it's a bike competition. Sabes cuánto dinero es un regalo si ganando? O sea, ¿qué es lo que dan de, de premio? O sea, mm -hmm. es un premio. Y okay. La verdad, no sé qué estarán dando de premio en esta competición. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Si no me equivoco, creo que el premio es otra bicicleta. Ah, ok. Y para que, practique, y para que participen en, en qué? Internacional. Ah, international, they get more, like a bigger price. And that's why they got the police, they are riding. I'll smoke all of them. Yeah, I can't mess with these guys. These guys got hills and... These guys got everything. Yep, I see them. Wow. It's like I come at the right time. Disculpe, caballero. Is it the competition that there is in the bosque? The bicicleta? Sí. Ah, listo. Así es que lo estoy llevando de que es americano y te está conociendo. Sí, sí, sí. Gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias. <risa> bueno, eh, con el barbero que quiere arreglarse la barba. Sí. ¿Tiene alguna foto o algo para mostrarle al barbero cómo la quiere? Sí, 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 sí. Eso, mejor. Sí, sí. I do, I do. Ok. El escaleño. Caleño, Caleño en Manizales. Yes. All right. So he says that the, his barber is from Cali. He's Caleño, and I did tell him before that the last barber that tried to give me a cut and that messed up my whole entire face was from Cali, and he was saying that no, the barber that he knows. Hey, he's, 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 he's legit. He's the best barber that you know. So, hey, man, I'm putting my trust in him and hoping that this guy's going to give me a, a fresh, clean cut. So, let's go see what this is about. Yeah, I'm going to be at the barbershop. Yeah, I'm about to get myself a cut. We'll see how it's going to go out, all right? Como se llama, amigo? Andres, Andres. Uh, Andres, man. Andres going to hook me up, man. We about to get it done, all right? Andres going to hook me up, all right? That was what it was when I was in Cali and... I had somebody around the corner near the hostel work on my face. He didn't do a good job as I thought I expected it to be. He did leave my beard in a state that I had to go get razors and try to adjust it and line up myself because I didn't bring a outliner with me. So when I was telling Camilo, hey, listen, this is my situation, this is what happened. Do you know a good barber around here, man? As us, since his homie is here, and he's he's Kalenio here, and I was like, oh man, he's Kalenio. So I'm thinking that okay, he's gonna do a bad bad job, but I noticed that Andres, the Kalenio barber here in Manizales, he's a brother. The one who did my face the first time wasn't a brother. So what I could say is because I know he's a brother, I expect him to do a good job and i think regardless of where you are in the planet if you're a melanated brother brothers understand brothers here you know what i'm saying you that the african genealogy that we all share regardless of the where in the planet we are we all know how to handle each other's here so as he was doing his thing i noticed this said wow i'm liking what i'm seeing he definitely is doing such a better job he's doing a better job than i've ever had with all the barbers I've ever experienced in Colombia. And you should definitely hit up Andres when you go to Manizales and you need a cut, man. Yo, look how smooth I look. Granted, I do got the bumps here because I was trying to do a lot of things on my own. But, man, he hooked me up. And this, this, oh my gosh, this cut was the equivalent of $2 US these, right? 10 mil peso, 10,000 Colombian peso. And this was the equivalent of about $2 US. So, can't beat that. He did such a fantastic job, man. I, I couldn't. I was so impressed, man. I, I'm so impressed. I, I had to give the brother a shout out. So, he did his thing. Nate, you think Manizales. And Carmelo wasn't lying, too. His, his bar friend, he knows exactly what he's doing, man.
Oh, man. So this is what I have to say, man. My amigo Andres, man, hooked me up. Because where I was before in Cali, they didn't do a good job. He did a good job. Muchas gracias por todo, man. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? Son empresas. Empresas. Oh. De, de metales. De metales. Okay, so they said this is a metal factory, a metal, metal business. Fabrica. Sí, fabrica. So, fabrica. So, metal, so pretty much a metal work, metal smith factory that they got over here. And it looks like a dump, but, oh, recycling dump. Si, sí, Chicarga. La Chicarga. So that's a recycling center is what they're saying. Where they bring all the metals and then they recycle all of that. That's actually pretty cool. Ah, claro. It doesn't smell that bad for a recycling center though, I have to admit. It smells pretty good. Yeah, right Usualmente la fabricas de uh, metals sí. allí huele muy mal, pero no huele mal. No. Uh, huele regular. Sí. <laughs> usualmente, usualmente. Sí. Nueva York, usualmente muy mal. <laughs> huele muy mal. Pero usted quiere comer aquí? No, 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 Quieren comer. Ahora, ahora. Ahora sí. Ahora sí, más tarde. Sí. ¿Qué quieren más tarde? Ahora más tarde. Ay, ¿Qué quieren comer? Madurito con queso para que lo pruebe. ¿Con, con queso? Con plátano maduro. Ah. Plátano maduro. Con queso. Con queso. Crema de leche. Crema de leche. Bocadillo. Bocadillo. I don't know what that is. No, ¿qué, ¿Qué es? <laughs> o sea, ¿qué es bocadillo? ¿Qué? Dulce de guayaba. Dulce de guayaba. Dulce de guayaba. Guaja, guajaba, guajaba, ¿qué es esto? ¿Qué, qué fruta es guajaba? Ya le muestran. Me encanta, me encanta chorizo con, chori con tomate y, y limón. Eh. <laughs> so you're saying it's like a kilometer of traffic and we have to wait. Guava. Guava. Sí, guava, guava. Me gusta guava. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, vamos a ver. Guava, guava con con qué? Plátano. Platino, sí. Platino manduro lo conozco. Sí, uh, yes. Eh, so, 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 yo sé. Guava. So, okay, so planting, planting with guava. I understand. Uy, Entiendo. Queso. Entiendo Uy. con queso, con cheese. Sí, sí con cheese. queso. Entiendo. Uy, con... So, that's, that's the menu. Crema de leche. Okay, crema de leche. Crema. It's kind of sound like a dessert. We got planting, guava, crema de leche, more caramel. And I'm, I'm ready to try this out. I'm like my new haircut, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, look, 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 look. He, he did a good job, you know what I'm saying? And this was this was 10 mil peso, man. This is a good price for a haircut. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he balled up my head too, really nice. Hey. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but during the course of my trip here, Sandra really wanted to show me Manizales because she believed that the last time I was here, I didn't get to see nothing. So every Merado that we go or lookout spot that we go, she's showing it to me. Cabajo, cebolla, cabajo, cabello, cabajo, cabajo, cabajo. Oh my gosh, the three words in Spanish are so difficult: horse, onion, and hair. In English, este es horse, pero cebolla. No, cabajo, cabajo. It's in English. Oh my gosh. Muy caro. Sí. Recuerdo. 
Si, sí. nom si nombre es en inglés, es muy caro. Sí, es, es muy caro. Muy caro. Y el servicio y de la comida no es tan buena. <laughs> 72 years of history. 172 years. So now at this point, I was starting to piece together why there are so much festivities going on. Because they were celebrating 170 years of Manizales being a city in Caldas. So, yeah, moving along, they took me to another Mirador spot. We took pictures, got to see some fantastic views. And we pretty much are getting ourselves ready to go eat. In un restaurante. Si? Sí? Si. Sí. <laughs> Quiero ver. <laughs> Quiero ir. Un restaurante. Hey. That's a restaurant. Okay. May Day. Wow, Manizales, you got some stuff. You got a whole lot more stuff than I knew before. Huh. This is dope. Oh, sweat. Look at the vistas, man. Oh, man. This is a city just oh, it's on the hills and you can just see everything from on top of the hills. This is actually spectacular, man. This is muy spectacular. Look at that, man. I like being up here. Say at the top, man. This, is, this view doesn't get any better, man. You can hear the birds in the forest. You can see the clouds that cover cover the city. It's just a fantastic sight, man. I just don't know how to explain it in Spanish. No entiendo explicar en español. Explicar explicar en español. Pero este, mm. this is this is life, man. This is life. Esta es vida. Or esta la vida. Me gusta mucho. This is the life. Yeah, this is a, I guess this is probably like one of the rich buildings on Gold Street or Gold Avenue. I think that's what it's saying. It's uh, Cerro de Oreo. I don't know, something gold. I got to translate that. Uh, what is Cerro? I need to look that word up. So the building, it's another word for hill or mountain. So the building on Gold Mountain or Gold Hill or Gold Hill building. That's exactly what it's saying. The building of Gold Hill. Or Gold Hill Building, Gold Hill Avenue. Es costoso la discoteca también. Restaurant to eat. Restaurant and discoteca. They said it's. <laughs> they say they say it's expensive. Well, I want to see how expensive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm nosy, so I'm just gonna go see what it's about. And uh, that's that's what it is. Okay, across the street from an expensive building too, so I think it makes sense. And we have a little doggy here as well. I wonder what the doggy wants. Doggy, no. <laughs> yeah, I see it, social club, drive in. It is in English. Remember what I said about the English words. If you see the English words, expect a bigger price tag. So I kind of believe them. Uh -huh. And the other one is at the side. The discotheque is on the side. I don't know. I kind of want to check it out. I, I feel it might be popping for the mere fact of its location and how high up it is. Because last night, when we was driving by last night, that was, that was turning up. That was turning up. So this is it. Ah, I guess that's the type of people you're dealing with. 2150. Muy popular. Hmm? Muy popular? Sí. Sí. Pero muy costoso. Pero muy costoso, sí. Muy caro. Caro, caro, caro. ¿Cuántos? Pero per persona. Mm, no sabría decirle muy bien, pero sí sé que es. Póngale que un aguardiente esté costando 80 mil pesos. 80 mil pesos. Ok. That's about uh, $20 for us. Um, I, I want to see. 80 mil. That's not that bad. 
you guys, I kid you not when I tell you guys stuff happens to me by accident, all right? Because here we are in the middle of Manizales. Well, this is Villa Maria now. This is another section of Villa Maria. We're going to go get food, and we just see this long line, right? So we're thinking it's traffic. We see a lot of helmets trying to figure out what's going on. Why are there so much people here in Villa Maria, right? We're going to go get a bite to eat by one of the friends, uh, one of Sandra's friends' restaurant. And we're like, yo, why is there so much traffic? Only to find out that they're doing time trials here. They, they're doing competitions. So, you mean to tell me that Colombia got Tokyo Drift going on here? You know what I'm saying? We got Fast and the Furious Colombia? Bruh. Bruh. So, Camilo, the driver, right? Her son. He's a car enthusiast as well. And I told him, so look, I ain't seen this before. Look, pull up. Let's, let's, let's go pull up. And we both pulled up, you know what I'm saying? We both left the dinner table just to see what's going on. All right, all right back to the video. Better look at this, man. Fast and the Furious scene in Colombia, bro. I never thought I'd actually run into something like this, man. This is just once in a lifetime type of thing. It just so happens I'm at the right place at the right time. It's been happening since I've came here. Since I've gotten to Colombia, everything's been like ordained that I should be at a certain place at a certain time. <laughs> this is well, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get some food and just so happens that they're doing some races over here. I ain't got to see nothing yet, but they got the official teams out. You got the spectators and everything too. Got seriousness, man. Races and all that, son. Mm. That's a race car indeed. See that number seven? I think the cat's racing too. The cat's part of it too. I had that. See, they got everything. All right, cool. Let's get it on up. Oh, okay. What else? <laughs> Como esta usted? Oh, yeah, gracias a Dios. Uh, Mucho gusto, Gloria. Ah, uh, Nate. No, <laughs> bueno. Views are looking pretty dope so far. So far, so good. We're chilling. Okay. Uh, we here. We about to see what's going to pop off. We want to see that race. I think they're doing time trials and time attacks. My guy started drifting early, son. Hey, 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 I don't know, say. Si quiero, no sé si quiero aquí o aquí. Tiene que, tiene ser rápido. Pero mucha ingenio. Sí, sí. This is the one with the GoPro. He he's ready. This one's ready. He is ready. This 
this guy is ready. He's positioning himself, so. Smart. Smart. He's backing up. He's trying to. He's trying to get that first curve. That's what's up. Oh, we got a. She's racing too. Word. Everybody racing. That's what's up. That wasn't the best start. That wasn't the best start. That other guy was ready. These guys are ready. They are ready. Showing off. Oh, burn up. He is showing off. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang, that messed it up. Oh, that messed it up. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, even the cops are The cops are ready. Haz el rojo. Diego, ese es Sí. Champion, it's a champion one. Yeah, look at this guy. Mas rápido. Yeah. El rápido. El rápido. See, look at this man. <laughs> he ain't gonna open it up, but look, he's, he's ready, man. You see the gold steering wheel? Oh, he's ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's time to go. All right. We're just going to end it off with some cows. Arbaca in Espanol. Por qué las vacas uh, come todo todo el día? <laughs> Porque tienen que dar mucha leche. <laughs> mucha leche. Oh, me gustaría un foto allí. Sí, sí, sí. Un, una foto, una foto, una foto. It was awesome. They done. They they already put the thing up. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Thank you very much for watching this episode, y'all. I just want to know what y'all think in the comment section below. Please smash that like button. Comment, comment on this video. Share this video with your friends and everything, man. And like, yo, man, help me get up there, man. Really appreciate it, all right? <laughs> Peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Never, never forget to subscribe. Nate in your state.